If life on Earth is to be sustained, we must do more than just slow deforestation. We must reverse it. Creating a new generation of restored forests fit for the needs of the 21st century provides an opportunity to restore the natural balance between us and our environment. While we can never replace a pristine rainforest once it's gone, we can restore most of the economic and environmental functions it originally provided. And crucially, that includes locking up carbon. 21st century forests offer a huge potential to mitigate climate change while transforming the lives of millions of people around the world. Today, this potential is already becoming a reality. This is Kielder Forest in the north of England. It's a new forest. Over 65,000 hectares were created in just over 50 years. The forest produces over 2,000 cubic metres of sustainable timber every working day, providing 5% of the United Kingdom's entire softwood needs. Increasing biodiversity is a key part of the management plan here. Every year, half a million visitors come to walk, cycle, ride horses, or relax beside Kielder Water and enjoy the area's scenery and wildlife, bringing further economic benefits to the local community. And the forest captures over 70,000 tonnes of carbon dioxide every year. But it wasn't always like this. Well, prior to the large-scale afforestation of this uh, area, which began in 1926 and continued for the next uh, 30 or 40 years, uh, done of course by the Forestry Commission, uh, these hills would be grazed by sheep and by cattle. There would be some ancient woodland uh, in the valley bottoms. Uh, we've sought to preserve and to look after that. But the initial planting was uh, monoculture. It was mainly um, commercial conifers. That has now changed, driven by forest design plans and a, a, a more enlightened view of how the forest should look. So we're planting more native broadleaves. We're seeking still to preserve these ancient woodlands that we, that we had initially. Uh, and that has led to a more attractive forest, both for wildlife and conservation, and indeed for the public. Some countries have recognised the benefits of forest restoration for many years, and have put a lot of effort into recreating the resources they once enjoyed. So science and good practice, one from many decades of practical experience, does exist. We can draw on this experience by creating and managing truly sustainable forests. <laughs> 